we're heading towards a really weird situation in the NFL with quarterbacks where the quarterback position has really been elevated recently. Uh, starting caliber quarterbacks are getting more and more common. And if you look around the NFL right now, every team has a quarterback. And every team really, most teams have a plan long term at the quarterback position. We've never seen a situation like this where we have three new quarterbacks joining the NFL next year. We have Trevor Lawrence. We have Justin Fields. We have Trey Lance from North Dakota State. Um, we, we have all these quarterbacks joining the NFL. And I, I look and go, are they needed? Like, is there really a spot for them? Someone will find a spot, right? Somebody will be like, hey, Trevor Lawrence at that price is better than what I have. But how many teams really need a quarterback next year? The Patriots, maybe. They have Cam Newton, Jarrett Stidham. Now, the Colts make sense. They have Phillip Rivers. He might be on his final year. Uh, but he signed a, a two-year contract, I believe. The Steelers have Big Ben. He's getting older. Maybe he retires. Drew Brees in New Orleans is getting older. But aside from those teams I listed, um, I, I mean, the Raiders have two quarterbacks. They have Marcus Mariota and Derek Carr. I'm not sure either of them can play, but we'll find out. The Bears got Nick Foles. They're okay. My point is there's not really a lot of vacancy throughout the NFL. Now, I'm, I am not confident that Justin Herbert, the quarterback of the L.A. Chargers, is going to work. But even, even the Chargers, you're going to give him two or three years. Like, if Justin Herbert fails in L.A., it's still going to be quite a while before they need another quarterback to replace him. And then look at guys like former starters, Jameis Winston, Andy Dalton, they're backups. They're not even playing. My point is, uh, Jalen Hurts too. Jalen Hurts is a guy who I think I think Jalen Hurts is better than Justin Herbert. Crazy or angry? We'll see in like four years. Is Jalen Hurts ever going to be a starting quarterback in the NFL? I would not be shocked. So again, we have three new quarterbacks entering the NFL. Clemson quarterback Trevor Lawrence, Justin Fields, Ohio State, Trey Lance, North Dakota State. And my point is that the quarterback market right now is getting oversaturated. There are only 32 starting quarterback jobs in the NFL. And what if there are 32 jobs and 36 guys who can do the job? 38, maybe. Or who are capable of being starting quarterbacks and playing at a good level. Pineapple juice. Now, my question is, how is this going to impact quarterback contracts? This quarterback bubble, the market being oversaturated. Now, elite quarterbacks at the top are not going to be affected. Guys like Russell Wilson, Patrick Mahomes, Deshaun Watson, they're going to be fine. They're not in danger of losing out on any money. Nothing's going to change for guys like that. But if you're an NFL team, if you're an NFL team with an average quarterback, and there are two quarterbacks available where you go, one guy is way cheaper than the other. We can have Derek Carr at $100 million or we'll say um, uh, Andy Dalton. Just throw it at Andy Dalton for $7 million a year. And we're like, well, I mean, the, he's like a third of the price. Wouldn't you take a cheaper quarterback? You're like, if we take a cheaper quarterback who's good enough, we can build an incredible roster and make it work. I just would not be shocked by that. So is it possible that oversaturating the quarterback market could, in fact, lower the price on middle-of-the-road quarterbacks in the NFL? Is it possible? I think it is. You know, price coincides with rarity. And if finding, a star if finding a starting caliber quarterback who can get the job done is a lot less rare, could that not drive the price down? Again, why would you pay Derek Carr $100 million when you can find another quarterback who can do his job for a lot less? In business, in the business world, when you oversaturate a market, what it does is it slows down your sales. And in this situation, the quarterback contract is the bill of sale. It's the sale. And so could an oversaturated quarterback market drive QB prices down? I, it seems to make sense to me. Now, could it have some unexpected you know, consequence? Could it actually somehow do the opposite thing and, and drive the price up? Maybe like, hey, there's so many guys you got to have – we're all competing for a price. You want me, you can have the other guy, but I'm, I'm higher and you want my talent. I don't know. I, I don't know. But something's going to happen. There's a quarterback bubble right now. And when it does indeed pop and there are 
more quarterbacks than there are jobs available. Something's going to give. Either direction, whether it's going to lower the price of an average quarterback or raise the price of an average quarterback, it's going to go up anyway because of the salary cap increase coming, you know, the impending salary cap increase. But my point is that we might see if there are more quarterbacks, if there's 36 starting caliber quarterbacks in the NFL and only 32 jobs available, my belief is that it's going to drive the price down of an average quarterback. I don't know. Could have the opposite effect, but I'm really excited to track that storyline and see what happens because right now there just there just are not that many teams that desperately need a quarterback. I, I can't even think of one this year. There's not a team that really needs a quarterback. Every team has a quarterback that they like for at least this year, and most teams have a plan even for the year after that at the quarterback position.